Hey guys, it's Denise, and we're back at Sanctuary Hills where I am. Uh, I've got a couple of pro projects going on. Um, one of my projects that I have going on is um, I am making a house out of lollipops and gumdrops. It's in its very early stages right now, obviously, but um, what I was thinking is I wanted to make some beds that were made out of the gumdrops. Um, so I made this bunk bed with um, the gumdrops being supported uh, supports and also I I'm gonna do a gumdrop bed where it's just like four across and two wide two or three wide and then sit the bed actually on top of it kind of like what I did with the containers and I put the mattress on top of there um, uh, uh, it's something that more to me for life did with the cabinets as well as what Wim did in her video uh, with the containers she put a mattress on top of there so it's the same idea but um, using different pieces um, here's my attempt at making a race car bunk bed but it's so hard to do because um, the race car doesn't want to glitch into the top bed and then if you use a rug to do it and then you take out the rug it just falls back down again so if anyone can figure out how to make the race car bed or bumper car bed to where there's more space in between here I mean I think it's still able to be used I mean I think the settlers can still use it but visually I just wanted um, it looks more visually pleasing to me if there was a little bit more room in between the two cars you know it looked more like a bunk bed and then I could stick you know like one of the raider poles here and a raider pole there as supports or something you know so um yeah if anyone wants to mess around with this um I just about ripped my hair out messing around with it so um yeah so and some of the other bad ideas I had for my raider settlement uh, was using the mannequins as supports here. Um, I really like this design. Um, this is just using the regular armor um, racks. Um, now these beds will go ahead and stack on their own and use their selves as supports. Got this one pretty straight, but these are really hard to get straight. So using um, these mannequins on the side would definitely hide any mess ups that you had. Uh, here's a pack bed that I made. Um, again, I really like using the mannequins for almost anything. Here's an operator bed that I made. Um, so I think it just, you know, again, maybe seems kind of weird, but it's definitely different um, than the normal beds that we usually see. So I just thought it would be something fun and different to do. And so I thought I would share them with you. I'm sure there's lots of other uh, combinations and ideas that you can make or that maybe other people have thought of but haven't actually, you know, used it yet or whatever. These are just some of the ones that crossed my mind and, um, you know, uh, based upon what I'm building and what it would fi fit in with at the moment. Um, I'm sure you could even use, like these little guys as supports for a bed or even the cactuses the hay bales even I mean if you're going for like a country time look I mean I don't know there's uh, I'm just always trying to think of ways to um, you know make things look a little bit different or out of the ordinary so anyways let me know what you guys think and um, I just thought I would make this video real quick I'm gonna be busy most of the weekend um, playing Destiny with my husband because I haven't played that game in a long time and him and I used to team up on it all the time so it's kind of a like nostalgic thing that we're going to do together. So um, we've got that going on. So I've got, I just want to let you guys know what else is going on for the channel. Like I said, I'm working on the lollipop um, gumdrop house. Um, in this spot right here, what I've got planned is um, a house made out of nothing but pictures. And so that's going to be coming up as well. And I kind of want to get that done before the end of the month because starting October, 
the first week of October, I really want to focus on the Haunted House Challenge. I really want to focus hardcore on that. I've got so many freaking ideas for that that haunted house. I'm going to be doing it at Longfellow's Cabin. Um, our friend Lord Runewolf, I'll leave a link in the description box, has issued that challenge. Um, he issued it on July 25th. Um, we've got plenty of time to do it before Halloween. This is at the end of the month. Um, depending on how fancy or intricate you guys want to get with it. Um, I'm not going to give away any of my ideas right now because I kind of want them to be a surprise. But, um, I've got a lot of ideas for it. So I'm really excited about that. And, um, I just want to let you guys know that, that, you know, I know some, some YouTubers out there have decided to move on past Fallout 4. I'm going to stick with it as long as I can because I love it. So, um, I just want to let you guys know that and, um, I'm going to go. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.